how do you make money in crypto? Well, one straightforward way is to be early to something new, to buy it, and then, well, you wait and sell it for more money later. Can you still do that with Bitcoin, though? Well, kind of. I still think Bitcoin's a great investment in of itself, and that's going to go up a lot more. It's going to hit a million dollars one of these days, but it's not going to give you that 100x opportunity right now. So potentially higher returns, you need to look a bit further afield. We can still look within Bitcoin, and we're going to talk about runes. And if you're not sure exactly what runes are, that's perfect because that lack of clarity comes with being early. It's a potential 100x opportunity in the Bitcoin ecosystem. So today I'm going to run you through what the heck runes are, what the top runes projects are, and, well, how you can actually get a hold of them. So WTF are runes anyway. Well, in the smallest possible little nutshell, runes are basically meme coins on Bit. Bitcoin. In a little more detail, runes are fungible tokens on Bitcoin, meaning that they're like ERC-20 tokens on Ethereum. Right now, everyone is focused on meme coins, but runes, like Ethereum's ERC-20 token standards, can serve other purposes too. And if you want a longer history, there's a direct line from ordinals, which are basically meme coins of Bitcoin before, to BRC20 tokens, and now back to runes. See, back in January 2023, a developer called Cassie Rotomore, Rod Armor, whatever, came up with uh, the ordinals protocol, which enabled on-chain NFTs on Bitcoin. And early buyers reaped some pretty big rewards with collections like Ordinal Maxi Biz making big gains. Then March 2023, a developer known as Domo used the Ordinal's protocol to create fungible tokens on the Bitcoin network called BRC20s. This method was criticized for being too complex, too inefficient, which all those things are kind of right. But here is an important point. Those faults didn't stop early buyers from, again, banking big profits. For example, a token called SATS made gains around 2,500% in just a couple of months at the end of 2023. And after that, Ordinal's creator, Cassie Rotomore, came up with the Runes protocol, which is specifically aimed at enabling fungible tokens on Bitcoin referred to as runes, but which compared to BRC20s are much simpler, more efficient, and much more flexible and more wallet compatible. So basically the new generation of all that cool stuff. Runes launched at the Bitcoin halving on April 20th, tapping into the huge amount of attention on BTC at the time, and they have some very interesting and unique features. Now you might notice that runes have long, strange looks looking names. You start looking into it, you'll find these. And this is because of a naming convention stipulating that tokens must have at least 13 characters in their names with dots placed between the words. Although this is the minimum limit reducing by one character every 17,500 blocks or roughly every four months. Okay, interesting. Anyway, confusingly though, that's not confusing enough. Confusingly though, tokens will often have a long name and also be referred to by a more conventional ticker name. For example, dog.go.to.the.moon is also just simply known as dog, the ticker. Also, runes projects are numbered according to the order in which they were created. So you can immediately recognize which of the runes coins were the earliest decentralized for example is rune number two and there's also a number zero which was hard coded by cassie rotomore himself and that is called uncommon dot goods some runes tokens are linked to ordinal projects and runes right now feel somewhere kind of between meme coins and NFTs with mints to create new tokens, much like NFTs having launch mints that people get very excited about. However, not all runes are created this way. And there are also pre-mined runes because of course there are, meaning that the tokens are created before the launch by the developers. All that there. Why is now a good time, a good moment to be paying attention to runes, potentially even to buy runes? Well, great question. Before I answer that, I wanted to let you know about the Wealth Mastery newsletter. It is the best damn newsletter out here in the cryptocurrency business. We're covering stuff like runes and everything else happening in the crypto space early every 
week, my team of researchers and I work hard to help you stay up to date and ahead of the curve on what is happening in crypto, altcoins, NFTs, DeFi, meme coins, charts, and much, much more. You can join our 125,000 plus weekly readers for free using the link down below in the description or the pinned comment on X. Thank you very much. So there was a lot of runes hype going into the Bitcoin halving, which only a short time later has kind of died down quite a bit. Transaction numbers have dipped by a lot. Having taken a huge share of on-chain activity at launch, prices came down heavily. And it looks like crypto attention has once again wandered elsewhere. We have the attention span of goldfish in this market, I swear. So you might be thinking, well, that all sounds pretty bad. I shouldn't be paying attention to this. But don't forget, when looking to buy, when prices are low, okay? You want to sell in the future rips when they come. Of course, that means you need to have conviction that there will actually be a future rip in the first place. That's uncertain, but there's plenty of success that suggests that it could happen. Active communities are grinding, projects are building, and importantly, we're not talking about tokens on another VC-backed layer one, which the community is getting a bit tired of. We're talking about tokens on the OG Big Daddy Bitcoin, the first biggest, most expensive blockchain in the world. Now, if you look back at early days of BRC20 tokens and Bitcoin ordinals, they were both always went through these these early slumps before delivering the big returns to those who hodled through or who bought the lows, suggesting runes may follow a similar trajectory. But here are some figures to think about. The market cap of all runes combined has not yet broken the $1 billion mark. Come on. Despite the fact that Casey Rotomore is uh, threatening to make a commit seppuku if a billion dollars isn't achieved within a month from launch. Let's make sure he uh, sticks around. You're a good developer, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. The market cap of leading rune token dog is currently just below $200 million. By comparison, the total market cap of all Solana meme coins together is almost $7.5 million. Probably more than that by the time you watch this. Well, the market cap of the top meme coin in the world, Doge. Coin, which is on Ethereum, is by itself over $21 billion. And as we said, Bitcoin isn't just any old blockchain. It's Bitcoin, man. Come on. So the next question is, well, if you're interested in buying runes, well, which runes should you even be looking at in the first place? Well, here are the top projects, the top runes. To be clear, not financial advice on which rune to buy, hold, or sell. I don't currently own any of these. That might change in the future. As I'm even recording this thing, like maybe I should get some runes. Anyway, full portfolio disclosures in the description. You can also see full risk statements there because crypto is risky. You can lose all your money. Memes are even riskier. I Meaning you can lose all your money even faster. Okay? Don't be children. Please understand the risks, okay? First up, we have Dog Go to the Moon, or just Dog. Now, this may be the highest profile rune out there right now, is airdropped to holders of runestone ordinals. And it makes a big point about having been what it calls a free and fair airdrop with no insider allocations, right? Everybody had an equal opportunity to go out and buy the rune stones. Dog bagged uh, runes number three, and it's openly trying to appeal to mainstream buyers rather than crypto natives. In fact, a lot of crypto natives like to hate on dog. And yet it remains right there at the center of the runes ecosystem and everybody loves dogs don't we dogs are great way better than cats i think we can all agree on that right obviously <laughs> there's pups full ticker pups world peace this started as a brc20 token that can now be converted to a runes token there's also a bridged solana version of this and there are also rune pups ordinals which were dropped to holders of bitcoin puppets ordinals and delivered a pups token allocation to holders it all gets a bit complicated overall pups has that slightly cult like quality that sometimes can really help uh propel whether it be an nft protocol or a meme coin to outlast the competition rune coin also known as rsic.genesis.rune was distributed to holders of rsic ordinals and is rune number eight rune coin has been listed on the centralized exchange okx which gives it of course a big advantage in terms of liquidity and it also has a partnership with the big name mean land nft project with stakers in meme land community actually receiving rune coin 
airdrops. Next is Lobo. L-O-B-O -O, is separate from Dog, but having been created by Buoyant Capital was also like Dog airdropped out to Runestone holders early on. And there's a possibility that it might run in the event that Dog makes some big gains. Maybe people look at that as a beta play here, potentially. Another one to be aware of is magic.internet.money, also known as Wizard, WZRD, which was a BRC20 token with plans to migrate to runes and is likely to do well if runes blow up. Some other runes that have gained that early traction and early attention include the weird and potentially offensive wanko manko runes we have gob gob is gob is gob from a project called game blocks we have waddle waddle pengu i know guys i know stick with me okay so if your portfolio is crying out for penguins i guess that's something satoshi dot nakamoto which grabbed attention because of course the name decentralized which was launched by ethereum based og nft project cyber kongs there is anarcho cat bus a name that shows up in casey rotomore's you know the guy who made the runes protocol it's in his twitter bio so there's all these other things right these are really the standouts right now but remember that all meme coins basically have a let's just call it a high risk degenerate gambling quality to them okay okay come on serious guys and since runes are still at such a low market cap a brand new rune might come out at any time and surge into the top ranks like we saw with like dog with hat for example, came out of nowhere right in the top. Next, though, let's run through some basic tools that you need to actually buy and trade runes. So how do you buy runes in the first place? Well, first, you're going to need, of course, a suitable wallet. The top two choices are Xverse and Unisat, both of which are easy to use options. So when doing anything runes related in your wallet, make sure to use the runes address, which will begin with BC1 and is also used for ordinals and BRC20s rather than using the regular Bitcoin address. So to buy and to sell, you can use NFT marketplace Magic Eden, which also, by the way, has its own multi-chain rune supporting wallet. Or, hey, by the way, if you're using Magic Eden, you might get into the Magic Eden airdrop too, bonus. Or you can use uh, various exchanges, but where to go depends, of course, on the token. However, OKX has listed several runes on its decentralized marketplace, and it has listed Rune Coin on its centralized exchange. So to use the OKX DEX, you'll need to download the OKX wallet, but that only takes a few minutes to actually get set up, so it's not super hard. Other exchanges are testing out the runes waters, including BitGet and Gate.io. And one more option, of course, is to buy on the Bitcoin specialized Unisat marketplace. So if you want to mint brand new runes as they launch, then check out Luminex. Or again, you can use the Unisat platform. Look, that's more than enough to get you started, to be honest. But one last point I, I would really like you to keep in mind is that while being early to a new protocol can, of course, bring big opportunities, can be very exciting, it also comes with obstacles and risks. You're a pioneer. You're on the Oregon Trail. You're going out there. But a lot of people died of dysentery. Remember that. So stick around. We'll pick up a few things to be careful about, okay? So that that's not you, okay? Risks for runes and the obstacles. First of all, the whole process of trading runes still has a lot more friction than usual. Of course, centralized exchange adoption will help that, but runes haven't yet replicated the easy experience of flipping meme coins via your phantom wallet on Solana. But that's really easy and fun and people are doing it. One strange feature you encounter is that runes are also traded in fixed batches containing specific amounts of the token. So this is definitely uh, suboptimal compared to regular token trading. And while packages can be split into smaller lots, buyers still have to select from amounts set by sellers, which is, again, far from ideal for something as casino-like as meme coins, where buyers often just want to throw in you know, some really small amount of cash, five bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks. And then there's the biggest risk, of course, which is pretty simple. What if runes simply fade into crypto history and complete irrelevance as a fun experiment that just didn't work out and everybody lost all their money on? Wouldn't be the first time. Is that a real possibility? Of course it can happen. But then the trade-off when you jump in early, that's, that's what it is, right? The potential returns are high, but you're placing a bet with no guarantees. There you go.
So size accordingly, considering the risk if you are going to dive into this new arena. That all being said, we've already seen ordinals and BRC20 tokens go through a pattern of initial hype, loss of attention, and then substantial gains. So while there are no certainties by any means, if you are looking for a still early meme coin ecosystem, which also happens to be on Bitcoin, then runes, runes, have it on your radar. Check it out. Thanks for watching.